Hey everybody, it is webkinsfan 91 here and I am adopting another Webkins pet. The pet I will be adopting today, which you probably know from the title already, but it is the Mallard Duck. This guy is super, super cute. I love it. It's just so, so adorable. I just love Mallard Ducks. They're really, really cute. And this Webkins is such a cool Webkins. My Mallard Duck's name is Mo Mallard. The W is here under his wing for some strange reason and here's the butt tag and here is the code so let's get to adopting this adorable little guy okay now all we need to know before we can send this pet home with you is their name and whether they are a boy or a girl i really really think that miss birdie her voice and just how she talks changes every single time i come to adopt a pet it probably hasn't since the last time but his name is Mo Mallard, and obviously it's a boy. He's so cute. Look at him. So adorable. This is such a cute look, and I love it. Congratulations! Now you are ready to start playing with your pet in Webkin's world. Whenever you have an adoption code, come back here to see me. I'm honestly just really glad no longer does she go... Are you here to adopt another Webkins? Like, I know that's really not how she said it, but I know I'm not the only person who thought she was sassing me. Stop spending your money on these things. Congratulations! Your adoption was a success. Now it's time to meet your new pet. Oh, he's so cute. And this is really cute, but it's also annoying to have to go through this every single time. I have dressed up Mo Mallard. There is a reason for his outfit. Basically, he's named after a mascot for a hockey team. So I put him in the most hockey-ish outfit I could. And here is his room. It's super cute, I think, anyway. It's a little simple, but it's supposed to look like a pond. And I did it the best I could with what I could find. Here is his gift box. Let's open it up and see what's inside, because I have absolutely no idea. Oh, well, this is awkward. I'm given a pond. Oops. <laughs> well, I guess I'll just take that one back, and I'll put this playful pond in. His special food item is a wild green granola bar. Oh, yes, Neo Gothic toilet. And a super bed gift box. Wow, I haven't gotten one of those in a really long time. Wild gray and granola bar. After spending some time pondering in their playful pond, make sure you serve your mallard duck this simple snack. Eat your granola bar, buddy. He likes it. Yay! Now it's time to take out this pond and put in his pond. Oh, wow, it's a lot smaller. Oh. Wow, that is tiny. I kind of made some changes. I decided I wanted this pond back in here. His pond's going to be in the corner instead of that little W shop one. And because I didn't actually put a bed for him in, his bed is next to the fountain here. Let's try out this pond. It's super small, but oh, he just sits there. He doesn't even swim. He just sits. Okay. Not the greatest item in the world, but it is kind of cute and it matches really well. This, I think, is the signature pig's item. He actually swims in it. So it makes more sense, although it kind of looks like he's just flying, but that works, I guess. Well, this was the adoption of Mo Mallard, the Mallard Duck. If you have a Mallard Duck, let me know what you named yours. I actually struggled with coming up with a name for mine. I almost wanted to name him Drake, because I think, like, a male duck is called Drake. So, like, I was got a name of Drake, because I really didn't know what else to name him. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I'll see you the next time I decide to adopt a Webkins. Hey, did you like this video? Would you like to see more? Well, unfortunately, due to YouTube's new partnership rules, I lost my partnership and I'm unable to make money off my videos to help me pay for living expenses. If you'd like to see videos from me more often, check out the link in the description below. All donations will help cover living expenses and wedding costs as I plan a wedding for spring 2019. Thanks for watching.